I can't believe it, Annabelle. A friend of my mother's is acting in a play and I have to go and watch it. <laughs> What's wrong with that, Ashley? You like the theatre. What's the play? Hmm. It's The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. Oh, I'm sure it won't be that bad. It's a great comedy. But I hate seeing a badly acted play. To lose one parent may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. <laughs> Welcome to That's English. Today's programme is all about the theatre. Hello. Yes, today we're going to meet an actress who performs in the theatre and in the street. Here's the question. When are Natasha and Christian going to the theatre? Oh, this is very good. Do you think oh. she's going to fall? Oh, I hope not. I hope she makes it. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Please give generously. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You were absolutely superb. Thank you. You were a good audience. What a great performance. I'm pleased you liked it. I hope that you can spare a few pennies. I'm raising money for a children's charity. Of course. <laughs> You know, you ought to be a professional actress. I am a professional actress. I'm in a play at the Apollo Theatre. Oh, great. Good for you. Do come and see the show. There are only a few performances left. We'd love to. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Gina Mack. This is Christian and I'm Natasha. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. I've got to go. I hope that you can come and see the show. I, I hope so. How peculiar. Who do you think he is? <laughs> I've booked a stand-up comedian for next Thursday. He's so funny. <laughs> Are you free? Yes. I hope to be able to come along. Can I have a mineral water and a white coffee, please? I'm really pleased we met Gina. Let's see if we can get tickets for her play. Here it is, the Apollo Theatre. Gina Mack is in Private Lives. Oh, it's a play by Noel Coward. It's a terrific script. Here's a review. The critic says the comedy is full of humour and passion. <laughs> Gina Mack looks wonderful and plays the role of Amanda with complete conviction. Here's a critic who didn't like it. What a poor performance. The acting is really over the top. And the direction is quite appalling. Hopefully it's not really that bad. I hope not. <laughs> Look, here she is on stage. Oh, she looks good in that wig. Yes, great. Let's go to the matinee tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Hopefully we'll still be able to get tickets. <laughs> Shall I ring the box office? No, I'll book tickets online. Um, here we are. There are two seats in the circle, but they're not next to each other. There's a box free. It's quite expensive. Look. Hmm. There are two seats in the stalls in row D, seat numbers eight and nine. That's OK for me. And it's good for me. <laughs> Let's book them. Wow. Gina is a talented street performer, isn't she? Absolutely. I wonder which review is right about her play, though. Yes, they were very different. One was really positive and one was very critical. Yes, but did you get the answer to our question? Let's go to the matinee tomorrow afternoon. They are going to the matinee tomorrow afternoon. Matinee means an afternoon performance. And Christian and Natasha book seats in the stalls. Look, these are the stalls. This is row D. This is the circle. Here are the boxes. And this is the stage. In the video, we saw people expressing hope. 
Watch. Well, I hope not. I hope she makes it. <laughs> I hope that you can come and see the show. Hopefully it's not really that bad. I hope not. <laughs> I hope that the importance of being earnest is better than I imagine. Hopefully you will love it. Yes. I may join a theatre group, become a famous actor and then leave this programme. I hope not. We also heard people expressing satisfaction. Watch. <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> I'm pleased you liked it. I'm really pleased we met Gina. Well, I'm pleased that Ashley's stopped talking about the importance of being earnest for a minute. Yes, all right. I promise I'll stop talking about it now. Why don't we watch the second part of the episode? I'm curious about Gina's play. I want to know whether it is good or bad. See if you can answer our question. Why does Gina introduce Natasha to Theo? I thought Gina was quite outstanding. Yes, she was absolutely terrific, but she was even better when she was a street performer. I agree. The production wasn't very good and the sets were poor. And the lighting and costumes were appalling. Mm. Look, there's that young man again. I wonder if he's waiting for Gina. Never mind, it's not our business. Mm. You know, it's so glamorous being an actress. Mm. I wanted to be an actress when I was young. I auditioned for drama school. Really? Were you any good? The drama school said I overacted. <laughs> I remember my audition piece. <clears throat> oh, Romeo, Romeo, <laughs> wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. <laughs> shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? <laughs> oh, Gina, you are awesome. Oh, I'm pleased you could... I'm pleased you could come. I hope you enjoyed the show. Mm. Oh, yes. Congratulations. You're a fantastic actress. <laughs> That's really nice of you. Thank you. Uh, but I'm afraid the production is quite dreadful, really. And the director is absolutely hopeless. Being a street performer is much more exciting. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask? Who is that young man? He keeps looking at you. He's a playwright. He thinks he's a genius. He follows me everywhere. How exciting. <laughs> he wants me to perform in his latest play. Has he written a good script? Well, he says it's very avant-garde, but it's absolutely pathetic. It's so over the top. Oh, I like that type of play. <laughs> I love overacting and exaggerating. <laughs> <gasps> I've got a brilliant idea. Why don't I introduce you to Theo? Maybe he'll cast you and stop following me around. Really? I'm not sure. <laughs> Go on. What have you got to lose? OK. <laughs> I'll try anything once. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, Theo, allow me to introduce you to Natasha. She's a brilliant but underrated actress who would be perfect for your new play. How absolutely thrilling to meet you, darling. <laughs> I hear you've written a wonderful new play. And you are quite perfect for my new production. You must come and audition. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so Theo has a new play he wants to put on. Yes. I wonder if it's any good. So, did you get the answer to our question? Why does Gina introduce Natasha to Theo? Uh, Theo! Allow me to introduce you to Natasha. She's a brilliant but underrated actress who would be perfect for your new play. Because she is a brilliant actress, but she's underrated, infravalorada. And she would be perfect in his new play. In the video, we heard people congratulating and praising others. Watch. I thought Gina was quite outstanding. Yes, she was absolutely terrific. <laughs> wow, Gina, you are awesome. Congratulations. So, we can use the verb to be with a positive adjective. Yes, for example, Anita was amazing in the programme last week. Thank you. Yes, and well done to all our viewers out there who are wonderful language learners. 
Congratulations, you are brilliant. Mm. We also heard people criticising. Watch. The production wasn't very good and the sets were poor. And the lighting and costumes were appalling. Mm. But I'm afraid the production is quite dreadful, really. And the director is absolutely hopeless. We can use modifiers to add emphasis when we praise or criticise. For example, quite dreadful, terrible, or absolutely hopeless. This helps us to describe what is happening in more detail. I'm sure the importance of being earnest will be absolutely appalling, awful and extremely boring. You promised, Ashley. You have to go with an open mind. It might be totally brilliant. <sighs> I'd rather go to the cinema tonight. Let's see what other people prefer to do generally. Go to the cinema or the theatre? Yes, we asked people, do you prefer the theatre or the cinema? I prefer live theatre compared to the cinema, although, again, sometimes the cinema is, it can be very nice escapist uh, entertainment, but the energy and the excitement of live theatre you can't get in a, in a movie theatre. Theatre. We go to the theatre a lot. Um, in fact, we were here last week watching Shrek. Um, we like... Um, Phantom of the Opera, and yeah. um, we've seen Mamma Mia, we've seen a lot. Yeah, yeah. We like the theatre. It's a difficult one. I go to the cinema a lot more often, so that makes the theatre a bit more special. I prefer theatres, but cinemas are cheaper. To be honest, I don't go to either because it is expensive here. Um, theatre is like life, so I think that's a lot better experience. Well, we're going to the theatre tonight. <laughs> uh, I mean, the cinema is a lot more accessible, especially in Sydney. There's not that many shows um, playing all the time, but um, I do really like the theatre. Sometimes I prefer, prefer the theatre, sometimes I prefer the cinema. I think different medium of different ways of actually expressing human thought and human imagery. Theatre. Uh, I went to the cinema a couple of weeks ago and didn't enjoy it as much as I would going to the theatre. Yeah. In a way, theatre's better, but in a different way, cinema's, cinema's excellent, so I don't really have a choice or a preference. Where we are, we, we tend to go to the cinema rather than the theatre. I think people generally like both. Which do you prefer, Annabelle? Hmm. Well, I agree with some of the speakers that the theatre is more of a special occasion because I don't go very often. What about you, Anita? I like the cinema. I think film is really exciting and... The theatre is a bit old-fashioned. Well, Ashley, I really hope you like the play tonight. Goodbye. Mm, yes. Goodbye. <laughs>